So I finally got round to finishing off this little John Steed puppet I've been making for ooh, a number of years now. Um, he's actually at the, at the point now where he's ready to string up. So what I've done is made a, a wooden stand so that I can uh, string him up by the, by the controller. This is this controller here. Um, basically there are two strings that go to the side of his head and these actually pass through his hat and through his hair and um, into the side of his head there. Um, the hair is just sort of furry material which seems to do the trick. Uh, he did have eyebrows which are, which are these uh, but they fell off so I'm going to have to re-glue those on. Now I've just done a couple of his strings now. I've, I've done the main head strings which are, which are these ones and what I need to do is do his arms. Now I've discovered a little bit of a problem. So the arms are controlled by by these wires and by lifting up the wires you move the arms. Now one arm moves quite well. His arms go up and down, flap around, that all works pretty well. Unfortunately the other arm has a bit of an unfortunate action. not really appropriate. Um, the reason is because of the way his, his arms are hinged. So his shoulders are on cups and hooks um, or little rather eyelets and hooks so they can move kind of in all directions. His, his elbows just pivot in one direction and the issue is that I've got the, the string going flat through his wrist like that. I think what I need to do is, is drill the holes vertically so that the string is pulling his arms up. Now it just happens that this arm, when you pull the string, the arm goes vertically anyway. So it's only really really his left arm that needs modifying. But I'll, I'll do that and then um, see how that works. <laughs> 